Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about whether or not you should message your ex on special occasions. So, you know, no contact means no contact, right? And I know sometimes these things can't be avoided. Like let's say, for example, um, your ex, you share kids with your ex. Um, or you'll see or you see your ex at work like you still work with them and obviously you know it's okay to say to them when you see them happy birthday but you shouldn't really be um, messaging your ex for any reason whatsoever especially if you are trying to reattract them like if you think there's hope that you can attract this person back into your life then you need to stay in no contact with them especially if the breakup was their fault especially if they were the one to break up with you and you still want the relationship to work out. If you still want the relationship to work out and uh, they don't want the relationship to work out, they are the one that broke up with you, then you can't really do anything to uh, make them want you more. The only thing you can do is to give your absence because that's the only way they're gonna miss you. They can't miss you if you're in their DMs and that includes when you wish them a happy birthday or you wish them happy new year or um, you wish them their cat a happy birthday or something like that. Like, don't send them a message on special occasions unless it's absolutely necessary. Like, you work with them and you can't avoid them on their birthday or something. Then, of course, you can go up to them and say happy birthday, but don't send them a message saying happy birthday. And it's the same with if this is someone who's an ex partner and you have kids with and you can't really avoid them. You know, don't say happy, don't send them a message saying happy birthday. Say it to them when you see them, when you drop the kids off or when you pick them up or something like that. Never send them a message if you're trying to reattract them. Because I think when people ask this kind of question to me, they're coming from a place of, um, I can't help myself like I have to think of an excuse to speak with them and basically what they think is they think oh, on special occasions it doesn't matter that much but it does it matters a lot okay breaking no contact is breaking no contact okay and you know because basically what they're doing is they're thinking oh if I come up with an excuse to talk to them then maybe I can reconnect with them. It's basically just hoping that if I send them happy birthday or if I wish them Merry Christmas or if I wish them Happy New Year, maybe it'll start a conversation and we'll get back together. That's usually what's going on inside of them. So if you are to wish them happy birthday, you gotta kinda check yourself. Like why, you have to really seriously be honest with yourself and not BS yourself and ask, why am I doing this? Am I doing this because I genuinely just wanna wish them happy birthday? which is usually not the case, or is it because I'm hoping that if I send them a happy birthday message, we'll start a conversation and maybe that will lead to us getting back together. And the latter is usually what people have in mind when they want to send their ex a happy birthday or a Merry Christmas or something like that. They're hoping it's going to start a dialogue. They're hoping that it's going to start a conversation. They're hoping that this is somehow going to magically make them reconnect and they're suddenly going to realize that they're in love with you. Or they're going to think, oh my God, they're so thoughtful. I can't believe that they messaged me on my birthday, you know, they're thinking stuff like that. They're, they're hoping that their ex is gonna think something like that. And um, they're gonna realize that they were wrong all along. And oh my God, they thought about me on Christmas. That's so amazing. Because basically all this is doing is, you when you send your ex uh, like a happy birthday or a Merry Christmas or a Happy New Year or something along those lines, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of um, a situation where you're, in a sense, I guess, trying to manipulate the situation in a way. Because when you are trying to do this kind of thing, you're trying to get a reaction out of them. You're hoping to get a reaction out of them. And anytime you're hoping to get a reaction out of your ex by something that you're doing, whether that's sending them a text or not, or it could be like, I don't know, it could be, it could be anything where you're trying to get their attention. Basically, that's manipulation. You're trying to manipulate them to, to, to do something, to start a conversation with you, to feel something about you. But when you, what you should be doing is you should be not be doing anything at all, right? So what's else, something else I wanted to say? Yeah, so if you're serious about getting back with them, if you're serious about trying to reconnect with them and you think that you have a chance of getting back with them, um, then you need to stay in no contact, right? If you think that, you know, they they just need some space from me um, and you can tell that this person actually really does love you then there's a high chance that they can come back, then you have to stay in no contact. You have to not do anything when it comes to their birthdays unless you're absolutely required to do it, right? Because if you're honest with yourself, you know 
the only reason why you want to send them a message is because you're hoping that somehow this is going to lead to something else, right? So you have to be really, really, really honest with yourself. So no, it's not a good idea to wish them a happy birthday. It's not a good idea to wish them Merry Christmas or Happy New Year or anything like that. It's best to stay in no contact um, and stop using these things as an excuse. Like for example, um, I was talking to one guy a couple of years ago and he was saying to me like, um, oh, this girl, she she blocked me on everything, but I noticed that she hasn't blocked me on LinkedIn. So I'm gonna ask her about, you know, uh, homework and stuff on LinkedIn. And it's like, no, what are you doing? Like, stop doing that, right? You, it's, it's an excuse to speak to them. It's, in, it's You're trying to find a loophole, basically. And that's what you're doing when you're messaging your ex on their birthday. You're trying to find a loophole in no contact. You're trying to find a plot hole or whatever. You know, you're trying to find something where you can get around it, where you can come up with an excuse to talk to them, right? You gotta stop thinking like that. You know, no contact means no contact. And if this ex or whoever it is wants you, loves you, cares about you, they will come back. No contact will work on an ex that still loves you and cares about you. However, if they don't love and care about you, they will never come back. And there's nothing really much you can do about it. You can send them all the happy birthday messages in the world. You can send it to them periodically, you know, you know, every single year or whatever, right? Um, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to make the situation better. It's not going to make them change their mind about you if they are super serious about not getting back with you and they've moved on. But, you know, if, if they do, if they if you do have a chance of them coming back, no contact will work on them and they will reach out eventually. You've just got to be patient, right? You have to be patient because basically if you want to mes message them on their birthday and you want to break no contact, basically what you're doing is you're not being patient. You're saying to yourself that I can't handle this basically. Like, um, and it's bad because like you've probably made a commitment to not contact your ex. You've probably made a commitment to not say anything to them. And if you break that, then basically you're just going back on yourself and the promise that you made yourself. And that's not going to make you feel very good. You have to stay with, you have to stay with the promises that you've kept for yourself. Like for example, if you've promised to get up at 6 a.m. every morning and that's when your alarm goes off and you promise to always get up at 6 a.m., you're gonna feel really crappy if you hit the snooze button, right? Because you, um, you've gone against your own promises, you've gone against your own integrity, right? And you can't do that, especially when it comes to these kinds of emotional things where you've promised to do this kind of thing. Because if you do message your ex, it may be the case that you've completely sabotaged the situation. And you don't want to sabotage the situation, especially if you do want to get back with them. So it's not a good idea to um, contact your ex, um, especially if you're trying to do no contact. Um, you know, and the, the find you know messaging on their birthday isn't a loophole. It's just you being impatient. Okay, so you have to be patient. You have to be patient. You have to stick to to what your plan was and if your plan was to stay in no contact and to just give them a bit of time to see if they do come back then you have to stick to that plan you have to stick to that plan um and you have to stick by the promises that you've made to yourself as well because if you don't you're just going to feel rubbish about yourself okay so yeah that's my advice on you know whether or not you should send your ex um, a message on special occasions like their birthday new year's christmas um, it's a good idea not to do it. So that's my advice. Best to not do it. And, um, you know, because you, again, you know, you have to realize where your intentions are coming from. And most of the time, your intentions are coming from the wrong place. You're doing it because you just want to speak to them. Okay. Which is fair enough because you miss them. But, you know, if you really want them back, you have to stay in their contact. So if you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments. And I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye, guys.